Human Anatomy Foot The foot is a separate organ that is at the terminal part of the human body and many other vertebrates. It helps us to stand and also to move around. That is, it allows locomotion. The foot and the ankle together consist of 26 bones and 33 joints, apart from the many other ligaments, tendons, and muscles. This duo, that is, the foot and the ankle, form a complex mechanical structure that has five toes, which helps complete the functionalities of the foot, that is, helps us to stand and move both forward and backwards. The skeleton structure of the foot starts at the ankle bone, which acts like a junction where the two bones of the lower leg meet and help in the formation of a stable structure that holds the foot in a firmer position. The two bones making up the back part of the foot are known as heel bones. Calcaneus, commonly known as the heel bone, is actually a large bone that aids in the foundation of the rear part of the foot. The calcaneus connects with both the talus and the cuboid bones. The joint formed between the talus and the calcaneus is known as the subtalar joint, which helps in the normal functioning of the foot. It allows the foot to move from side to side. The tarsal bones are a set of five bones that coordinate together as a group, and the way they fit together is kind of unique, especially the way when they lock and unlock themselves to provide movement of the foot in different directions. The ankle joint is a pivotal point for movement of the foot. It allows the foot to bend up and down. The ligaments in the foot are the soft tissues that help in the attachment of one bone to the other. These are similar to those of tendons. The only difference is that tendons attach muscles to bones. The Achilles tendon is the most important tendon in the foot for walking, running, and jumping. The Achilles tendon attaches the calf muscles to the heel bone. This tendon helps us to rise up on our toes. Most of the muscles found in the foot are arranged in a layered structure on the sole of the foot. They provide padding underneath the sole. The tibial nerve is the main nerve in the foot, which supplies sensation to the toes and sole of the foot, and also controls their respective muscles. The main blood supply to the foot runs right beside the posterior larger nerve. There are several other less important arteries that enter the foot from other directions.